Hello, it's Tech413, <clears throat> and uh, I wanted to explain myself. I haven't made a video in about a month and a half, and this is mostly due to going back to work at a uh, pharmaceutical company that I... Basically, the only thing I can say about that is they make potatoes. <laughs> anyway, um... So this company that I'm working for, we've been doing a lot of overtime, a lot of hours, and uh, when I ran into a situation about a month, month and a half ago, the uh, the belt here, it's been about a month, the belt in my lathe uh, gave up the ghost, and we're going to go through an option that we have for, that I bought off of eBay. I had this big whole long introduction plan, and, I thought of some really cool things to say in the shower tonight after work, and uh, all that didn't work. So what we have from seller MAC CNC 11 is a 3 to 1 reduction and uh, pulley belt power upgrade kit for the mini metal lathe 7 by 10, 12 or 14 inch. And when they say... They say fastest shipper on the planet. Two days. I ordered it. Next day it wasn't here. It was the day after. That's phenomenally fast. Um, I've sent some emails to the gentleman. And what's in the kit? It's actually really cool. We have a new tooth belt which for my own purposes when I need to replace this belt again in the future which may or may not ever happen it's a 126 XL 037 0197 SS Gates power grip toothed or cogged belt it's fuzzy focus 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 Okay, so that's the best I'm going to do. So we have a new belt. And this is what I find fascinating. We have a new aluminum with two set screw drive pulley. And it's a set. And they're very nicely machined. I was going to polish this up with some Mother's Mag and aluminum. I still may do that, but... The quality of the machining is superb. I am very pre pleasantly pleased. Keyway looks good. Now, from what I read online, I only spent a few seconds instructions. Well, they're not my friend. They're my best friend. Um, the adjustment for the belt travel is on the smaller diameter pulley, whereas the larger one has a slight toothed bevel thing I'm using the wrong terms I'm an electrician by trade very proud electrician by trade union even but I don't know these terms and I am learning and this is what the video series and you know my hobby after work what I enjoy is a bit of machining so we're gonna install this kit tonight and hopefully be able to get back to turning because I tell you what something's been missing and that something is more cowbell so all I've done so far is remove the main cover. Uh, it's two cap head Allen screws. Uh, I believe those are four or three and a half millimeter scientific dungarees. And I've loosened up these two cap heads, these two socket heads, whatever you want to call them. I'm thinking I might have to loosen, well, I shouldn't have to now. I'm loosening that up. That allows this whole assembly, hopefully, to slide right off. It looks like we have clearance behind this gear. We may have to get into here, which I am dreading, and I don't really want to, but we should be able to pass that, and I can give it a good clean. But uh, anybody that has some comments on what is a good lube for my gears. Uh, cutting threads, I put some uh, sticky tack uh, 3M stuff on. 
I picked it up off a job site. It was some really nasty, gooey stuff. I kind of like it. But it's a synthetic grease, and then I tried some oil, and I was told never use oil, and I just, I don't know what to lube my gears with. They're plastic, but I, there was grease on them. There's no grease now. What was on here was a little bit of this yellowish, ugly paste junk. And before I go any further, bear with me while I clean this. Uh, So that belt change is actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. And out. So the teeth of the belt I've slowly been eating away and as you can see this is because I uh, took out the safety. This used to cut out the power to the drivetrain uh, when the circuit board would detect that it was whatever's. And, uh, well, one of the relays traces somewhere in the circuit failed, and I was able to go in and solder some jumpers in so the relay isn't there, so it doesn't click off like the standard uh, lathes do. I'm probably going to end up having to replace the main board. I also want to put a key switch in here just so that um, I have children. I don't want them operating this if I'm not home for an extended period of time. I do travel the country for work, but uh, I'm going to say that belt definitely is bad. We got cracks, fissures, and it looks like, yeah, it's time for something new. So we're going to put that off to the side. So there's two studs in this motor, two brush locations. The 
might have lucked out. It doesn't look like we need to blow it out. Let's pull this off. So here is what went wrong. As you can see by the deep gully here, it's been burned out and there are no longer teeth on this gear, which means a serious reduction in power and it's melted and reset because it's a thermal quite a bit. I also got the warning on my phone, so I'll be right back. So to do a comparison real quick, the difference in size is small but uh, constant. This is larger than that gear. And uh, this one is smaller. Quite a bit so. Uh, it's not the best. So I see two set screws. So that's good. We won't need that clip. And uh, fits right over the shaft. I hope. Well, set screws need to be loosened. These set screws are a... Looks like a two. Two scientific, no. Nope. One and a half. One and a half scientific inches. Metric for you fancy folks. So one such screw. Two such screw. I'm just going to place this over the shaft keyway. Okay, we're back after some, uh, Heart stopping moments. So, things I need to point out while I don't have any kind of. There we go. So, there's a key that rides on that shaft. It will fall. Watch out for it. The screws for. Where are you? Ah. The screws for this pulley that go back here do not fit on the shaft when installed in this direction. Now I'm gonna check eBay real quick right now to see if uh, the listing uh, says anything about this. I'll be back. I have no idea how much is missed. Pictures have been going, my phone's been adjusting. This is weird, anyway. All I've done is told you to make sure that this key does not fall out it's a bitch to find I found the other screw but in the pictures on eBay I didn't see the screws installed on this pulley on the motor side so I'm not gonna do that um, and basically I'm gonna do something you're not supposed to do and just I'm tired it's late I just want enough of the snap ring which is there there things seem to be seating I'm gonna put the snap rings on I'm going to bed I'll edit this video or I'll put it up soon uh, I am gonna contact the manufacturer to make sure I haven't done anything screwy to, to mess anything up because you know right now I'm just I'm, I'm not doing good I probably destroyed
Okay. Everything feels nice and tight. Let's plug her back in. Take a test run. This makes me so happy. I can make things like new tips for my e-cigarettes. And wheels and gears and things. Yeah, I have this being held in pinching a piece of silicone because it got hot and drank. Oh, that was cool. Not gonna lie. Just tighten this up. So I have this part disconnected. I have a bunch of safeties disconnected and jumped out because I'm a jackass. We're in high gear. Turn it off. On. Thank you for the kit. Anyway, I am super happy now. Check us next week for more videos. I have a bunch to do and a lot of stuff. And I'm going to clean this up. And I'm going to get pretty. And thank you very much for watching. Have a good night.